Welcome back again. Yes, here we are again. Vegas live with Nina. It's like a non-stop thing. This continues. Nothing in this world is going to keep us away. Not Nothing. At all. Nothing at all, right? Not at all. Nothing. Absolutely. Now you're a rap singer, right? Yes. What was your name? My my rap name, name is Lava Flame. See, I knew it was a different name. Lava Flame. Correct. Lava. Lava is flows. And then when it flows, it has this big flame. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So what brought you into the world of rapping? Because for a woman to rap is very, very difficult because they don't allow you in. Yeah, correct. Um, well, what brought me into the world of rap, um, just the struggle. Um, I grew up in a home of 12. Um, well, it's 12 of us. I have 11 siblings. 12, 12 of you? Yes. There's 12 Ashleys floating around. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of you, but 12 other children. So you, 11 others. 11 others. 11 others. Right. So you had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or whenever you did eat. I mean, there's got to be 12, 13. There's 14 of you. 15. 15 of you all together having dinner. Or having breakfast or whatever. It's like an army. How, yeah. was, how was it? It was rough. <laughs> it, was rough. <laughs> it was rough, but I never got bullied, so that was a good thing. Oh, nobody could. Uh, how could they actually? Come We're on, no, football no, team. no one's going to bully you. <clears throat> You're too sweet. You can't do that. But it must it, it must be very different. But but we could say it's different. But for you, it wasn't. It was normal. You know, just, yeah. You know, my my mum had five of us, so I guess it's, we're we're halfway there. Right. <laughs> so what what made you decide that that you wanted to rap? Because rapping is words of experiencing of what went on through your life. Isn't yeah, it? just going through um, hard times, struggling, um, and then I love um, Tupac. Oh, Tupac! Well, he's he's up there watching over you. He's actually helping you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at it that way. All right, Tupac, come on. Come on. Give us, <laughs> give us some songs. Give us some rapping, okay? Shout out to the goat. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. So, so when you decided to start singing and rapping, how old were you? I was, okay, maybe about 10. Well, you were 10. So you started it later in life. And yeah. Did, I started off um, actually right at home. R&B songs, so I just turned them into raps. You turned them into raps. And when you started rapping, did you find it was hard out there as a woman? Or yes, it was very, very hard. So, yeah. And it's funny you mentioned that. Um, um, a good friend of mine, she always talks about um, how the hip-hop industry does not um, open the doors as fast for women than men, not only just the hip hop industry, but the industry. Period. I, period. I think, well, I, I think the reason being is because um, it's kind of something new, not like today, but it's kind of something new where the women of society, they don't really want to stay home looking after babies and having children and doing all the above. I think they've decided that they want to be part of the life. The only problem what I see what they're doing is the women want to be exactly like the men. Well, the men and women, we're two completely different species. Exactly. We think differently. We do different things. We don't have the same body. We, everything is totally different. So I've never quite understood why women want to be like men. I, I don't think it's that's the problem. I think the problem is they want to get paid the same as men for the same job. I think that's what basically comes down to is money. I think. I don't know. I believe... Um to a certain extent. I just believe that um, we need our superior, you know, like we need superiority. Um, superior, how do you say the word? Superiority. 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 Yes. Superiority. Um, and, as um, of a person, as of a being. Yes. But, but, but we are the ones, the women are the ones that don't give it to ourselves. We, we can't blame the men for that. We, we cannot blame the men for anything at all that happens to us. Not at all. Not at all. We have to march forward. We have to do what we need to do and don't be afraid of it. I've never actually had to worry about ever worrying, but I've never wanted to be, I've never wanted to be like a man. I've always been very independent as doing what I'm doing and do what I do perfect, very well. But I think sometimes women 
make the excuse because of the man didn't allow me to do this, didn't. but I also know in the music business for you, it's hard. Yes. Very yeah. hard. So yeah. how did you break into it? Well, um, well, when I was younger, um, well, I was still my, young. <laughs> yeah, well, when I was 16, um, I threw my first event for my 16th birthday party. So, um, I performed the whole night, and everybody like, oh. What's she, what's she, what's she doing? <laughs> she yeah, uh, we was at the Cotton Club on 131st in Cleveland, Ohio, on uh, Miles, 131st and Miles. And um, DJ Joe Boone was the DJ. Uh, may he rest in peace. He's a uh, Cleveland legend, okay. DJ. But um, I threw my own party. I performed the whole night. Like, when I tell you, the, the whole club was packed. So everybody was so, like, I had the crowd rocking. So but, you like, had it, them and you performed. Yeah, so I had the whole crowd rocking, but it was so many people kept trying to get on the stage, asking if they could perform something. Their you, own said, music. you said no. I said no. I did. I did. I did said you? no. I said no. It's my birthday. It's my day. It's about me. So Good after that, you. I started planning events. So I was working with a guy, um, named Cash, um, and he owned a big law uh, on 40th and Payne. Um, and um, I was actually volunteering, helping with um, feeding the homeless, um, well, that was nice. clothing drives, yeah. food yeah. drives, yeah. and things like that. So on one side, that's where we were, um, you know, helping um, give back to the uh, community. And then the other side, it was just basically like a club that was never being used. I'm like, Cash, what you gonna do with this? He said, I'm trying to figure out something. My wife, my wife wants me to get rid of the whole entire building. I said, oh really? I said, well, until you do that, uh, do you mind if I use this place to uh, do events? He said, not at all. <laughs> so I started planning so events. So you started planning events and doing it yourself when you were about 16, 17 16, at this time? 16, 17 at the time. And, um, these were just, you know, um, kid events at first. Um, well, 16, did, you know, same, same age, right? Yes, but I hung with older people. Too, yeah, so. yeah. But um, when, um, okay, I started um, putting together those events. Uh, as I got older. That's a cool story. As, okay. As I got older, um, you know, I did more and more events. I started performing more. Um, and it just and it just rolled. Yeah, I'm gonna because we don't have much time left, so I'm gonna ask you. Can you do a little, little rap for me? Something yeah, sure. Uh, why bother going against the grain to flame my main lava? I'm spitting. Ooh, I'll start over. Why bother going against the grain to flame my main lava? I'm spitting flows to bang the game and bring dollars. I'm on you lame to claim to be hotter. If I'm lava, tell me what get hotter than that. A volcano erupt. Every time we rip on the track, I'm like fire to a candle. God, I'm dripping like wax. Don't want to spit the next line because y'all ain't ready for that. So fall back and play your position. I'm the queen of the heat, so it ain't no more chilling. You see steam when I speak, so imagine me spitting. You ain't cooking nothing like me, so get up the kitchen. I'm on the mission. Everything get touch, it burns. The last... I don't want to cuss. Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, no, is, uh, no, no, Ashley. I was going to start cussing, cussing. No, I've been trying not to. That's good. Ashley, she said, there was a word in there, mission. Well, Ashley, you're on a mission. Yes. You're on a mission to succeed. You're doing great. Do you do your own lyrics? Yes. You, and do you relate them to your upbringing or to a situation or? Yes, um, experiences and um, situations I've been in, situations I know people, um, know people that's been in uh, certain And then situations. situations you want to be in too. Yeah, and life situations. <laughs> yeah, I just say life situations, not whatever it is. How can anybody reach you to book you to do the shows? Um, you can reach me at One Lava Flame on IG um, or One Flame underscore entertainment. Um, Facebook, I'm Ashley Hall on Facebook and Flame Entertainment on Facebook. Um, you can you can really just Google Lava Flame. There you go. Ashley Hall, absolutely amazing. Um, one of the performers in rapping, which is very hard for a woman to get into, but she's uh, nothing's going to stop you, Ashley, right? She's no. just marching forward and she's doing Not absolutely fabulous. Do you love what I'm you're doing? Yes, I do.
That's, the, that's, the, that, that's actually the greatest thing. If you love what you do, then it's never a job. It's never a job. You never, never work. Yet. Because if you like it, you enjoy it. Thank you for uh, watching talk. Vegas Live with Nina and all four of our guests. have been absolutely amazing. I want to thank also um, the house, uh, the art house theaters. Absolutely wonderful. And of course, we're doing very well. We're here in Vegas and Vegas is blossoming. Vegas is coming back out again and we're all doing well. Yes, thank you, is. Maria Perez. Absolutely wonderful. My new producer and also the whole team. I'll eventually get all their names and be able to give them some little kudos as we go along. But uh, I, I, yeah, it's too much. I can't remember everybody's name. <laughs> really <laughs> tough. But it's not tough. It's one. Ashley Hall. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll so be right much. back next week. You take care. See you, you soon. See you soon.